Sometimes you'll get equations that have two absolute values in them. Here's how I solve them. One, I pick a side that I drop the absolute values every time. So I'll usually take the left. Again, I'm doing what I did before, and I'm writing my equation twice. Once, so the side that I'm going to change, in this case the right side, once I'm just going to drop the absolute values like they never existed. And then when I write it down my second time, they change into those parentheses with a minus sign out in front. If you chose to do this to the left-hand side, you're going to get the same answers. If you choose to do this four times, once without any, once both of them, parentheses and negative signs, you know, and then the other two that I have written here, you'll get repeated answers. So there are at most two answers here, and we're going to find them this way. So once you have your two equations written down, solve them independently. So subtract 2x from both sides. I'll go ahead and write it. So for those of you who like to see all the gray detail, that gets me to 3x minus 3 equals 14. Add 3 to both sides to get the x term by itself. And divide by 3 to get the x by itself. So x is 17 thirds. That's one of our answers. I have to solve the second equation to find my second answer. So 5x minus 3 equals, distribute the negative sign, changes the sign of everything inside, negative 2x minus 14. Now get all your x terms together, so add 2x to both sides. Add 3 to both sides. And divide by 7. There is my other answer.